Today I'm on a tea factory visit and I've come to the Madhupati Tea Factory run by the KDHP. Let me take you in and show you around as to what you can expect when you're on a visit to a tea factory in Munar. So I'm inside the KDHP Tea Factory at Madhupati and uh, I have got a helping hand here. Tea is definitely not my domain. So I have Libin who's mastered all about the tea factory process and has been telling people from all over the world who have been visiting this factory what tea is, what are the benefits of tea and how the tea is processed all through right from the time it's plucked till the time it's put into the bag and set outside. So it's over to Libin now. That's Libin and uh, Libin is going to tell us all about tea. So hi guys, myself Libin. I've been working in this company for the last four years. To tell you about teas, it takes a long time, all about like teas. So I'll just give you a briefing how the tea is being manufactured and some of the varieties of teas. So to start with, there are two major species of tea. One of the species is this, it's called Camellia Assamica. It's Camellia Assamica, which is green in color. So it's also known as Assam teas. So this uh, green color one will be called Assamica, whereas there is another species called Camellia sinis. But then the basics are just said white, green, orthodox black tea and CDC black tea. The costliest tea in the world is called the Dehong Silver Dips from China. Mm -hmm. It is to be approximately somewhere around 1.2 million dollars. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So once withered, mm -hmm. it is uh, having particular moisture amount in it. Mm -hmm. So we immediately uh, take it to the rollers. We just grind them up. Mm -hmm. So these are the rollers used to grind the teas. Okay. So it's called CTC rollers, which is of stainless steel material. Okay. It rotates coincidentally. Okay. And there are teeth. Once the tea is been out of fibers, we sort them into different sizes. And the different size will send 12 different sizes in CDC manufacture. Okay. So 12 different sizes gives you 12 different size teas. Okay. So these are some of the sizes, broken orange pico, pico fannings, super fine dust. Mm. And then comes to the blend, when it comes to the blend, ripple dust grade will be a blend of powders, which will be within powders. Whereas ripple leaf grade will be a blend of uh, the oolong teas, granules and the orthodox leaves. So it will be a tasty cup of tea. To start with the process, we go for withering. I told you the withering process. Withering is nothing but reduction of moisture and concentration of enzymes. So once the teas have been cleaned properly, it is then taken to the ground floor of the factory. You can see four pairs of chopping getting done. Towards the end, it is then taken by a conveyor to the fermentation drum. So those eight big drums are rotating slowly in a very slow RPM. And we just suck out 60% of the oxygen from the drum. And that smells tea. And then it is taken to the dryer. Dryer is on the right hand side. Then it is taken to the sorting part. So once the teas have been dried properly, we take them to the sorting part. This horizontal conveyor is coming out from the dryer, which will be just pulled out using vacuum packing. Okay. Sorry, vacuum technology. Okay. And then once the teas have been uh, clean, it is taken to the sorting again. So basic two different sizes are called the leaf brace and dust brace. Okay. Leaves will be bolder, dust will be tiny. This is called CD Chudamani dust. That's the South Indian name. That'll be the finest of the powder among CDC. Okay. Then they are finally taken to the packing. Mm -hmm. So towards the right hand side, you can see the packing getting done there. So those white color carton boxes are the end product. Okay. So those white color 15 number of carton boxes will be considered as one invoice, and that one invoice will be having a sample box of four kilograms. Okay. So the black color small boxes kept above mm. are the four kilograms of samples. Okay. So that samples will be tasted by different tasters in the rotation of uh, each fortnight Tuesdays in okay. Cochin, Wellington Island. Okay. So then they decide upon the call rates. They call upon rates. Mm. Pure auction happens there. Okay. Then they take it to their factory. They blend it and sell it there. And the best part is that this company, this factory is automated like 70%. Mm. And it is all indigenous. None of the machineries are from outside India. It's all within India. Alright. The best way to end the tea factory visit is with a cup of tea. And here I am with my share of green tea, the ripple tea. And that's Shellish signing off until the next vlog.